show. Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Alive. We'll do the Raw report in a moment, but this Sammy Guevara Andrade thing. Hmm. So, Andrade did an interview on Monday. And he said the only wrestler he'd ever had a problem with was Sammy Guevara. He said that Guevara had complained that Andrade hit him too hard in a match. And so Andrade said, dude, it's wrestling. If I hit you, you hit me. And he said he went to talk to Guevara about it. And he said, is there a problem? And Sammy said, no, there's no problem. So this is what he said in an interview. Okay. Keep in mind, they're not feuding. There's not been an angle with Andrade and Sammy Guevara. So Monday night, Sammy then tweeted, and I can't read all of this because there's some profanity, so I'll just use letters. You are a jobber, a favor hire. Be grateful, B. Andrade then tweeted, I said it to your face. If you had a problem with me and you said nothing, I won't beat your ass because I'm a professional. Don't be scared. When I say something, I name names, and I'm not scared to get fired. That's what he said. Sammy then said, You didn't say S to me, you liar, but here's some truth, you ungrateful prick. You would be jobless if it wasn't for your dad-in-law. Are you really mad at me or mad at yourself for failing to get over for a second time? Just go back to WWE like we all know you want to do and F off. So then Andrade said, okay, I'm a liar. See you on Wednesday. I'll tell you your face again. And nothing you say that you do not have any problem. That might have been lost in translation somewhere. But the point is, he says, I'll see you on Wednesday, bro. And then Jose, the assistant, said, I was there and can confirm this, quote, incident happened. Andrade gave an honest interview about his thoughts on AEW, his upcoming Rampage match with his AEW career on the line and more. Good thing no one in AEW can translate Spanish to English uncensored. And uh, away they go. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Let's imagine that this is real, okay? No, There's no storyline. It's just Andrade did an interview. Sammy got mad. Sammy's now cutting a promo on the guy on Twitter. Andrade is now cutting promos back and forth. Brother, Tony Khan needs to get in there and shut this down immediately, okay? Immediately, if not sooner. What is going on here? Like, why is this public? Why are two of your wrestlers going back and forth like this? It's the worst look for AEW. Okay, well, then you say, well, you know, maybe it's a work. Okay, maybe it's a work. Well, if it's a work, Tony Khan needs to get in there and shut this down immediately. Because what are they saying to each other? Well, Andrade is saying that Sammy is complaining about getting hit in a fake match. Sammy's then complaining that he got hired because of who he knows. And we all know he wants to go back to WWE. And then, you know, Andrade in the interview, Andrade in the interview was actually joking about how, you know, maybe I'll go back to WWE. He didn't say in quite those words, but, you know, he, he actually was... He, I The interview, you know, the translations and whatever, but, you know, somebody somebody down there that uh, speaks fluent Spanish, uh, fr- you know, someone who works with Super Luchas has sent me the, the translation. And Andrade's there talking about how, you know, maybe maybe I don't want to be here. Maybe Maybe I want to lay down. And it's just like, what? The last thing this company needs is the talent saying, you know, maybe I'd rather be somewhere else. And then Andrade had some line, which, you know, translations, I mean, whatever. Or he was kind of like, you know, if I want to talk to, I can't really talk to Hunter. But, you know, my wife works there. I can talk to her and they can communicate. I think that's okay. <laughs> like, what? So anyway, one way or the other, real or fake, this the hammer needs to be laid down on this thing on social media because it's not making the company look good. It doesn't make the company look good if it's real. It doesn't make the company look good if it's fake. So that's that. And yes, I know he has a mask versus career match soon, but 
if you're Tony Khan, you want a guy in a career match to go, you know, maybe I don't want to be here. Maybe I'll go in there with 10 and I'll just lay down so I can go some. That's what you want somebody in your company to be. I realize there's a storyline with a mask versus career match, but dude, that's not the angle you want to push. This is how the show begins, really. Oscar does a back kick, camera cut. She does a back fist, camera cut. She starts to run, camera cut. She hits a hip attack, camera cut. She drops to her knees, camera cut. She throws a kick, camera cut. She stands up and screams, camera cut to people brawling on the floor. I was furious, do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.